Hi friends, continuing the series of videos on indoor renovation, we have come to the next stage, leveling the walls. You can find and watch a video about other stages related to apartment renovation by clicking on the links that will be in the description of this video. Yes, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, the alignment of the walls, under this concept. Various operations are suitable, be it a finishing putty or plaster. Putty refers to the type of coating that cannot be applied in a thick layer, and if the walls are not even, there are large defects, old plaster has fallen out in places, then it is still too early to think about the putty. Large dips and irregularities are first plaster, since plaster is a coarser filling mass compared to putty, and it can be applied with a sufficiently thick layer. Ideally smooth walls do not exist initially, and the walls can be leveled in different ways. For example, if you do not want to make global repairs and bring the walls to zero, and small irregularities do not scare you, you can slightly level and repair with plaster, only the fallen fragments. This option will allow you to save the budget and subsequently perform the putty of the walls for the possibility of further applying a decorative coating, whether it is painting the walls with a roller with a long nap, or gluing unpretentious wallpaper. But if you know that walls, for example, have a slope, have a concavity or other defects, you cannot do without solid plaster. For example, a wall with an opening for a door, but it has a slope. By installing a door in such an opening along the bubble level, otherwise it is simply impossible. You will be faced with the fact that the platband of the door in one place will fit snugly against the wall, and in the other, between them and the wall, there will be a huge gap. Even a closet, installed tightly against such a wall, will immediately indicate its unevenness, and a gap that diverges between the wall and the closet in a wedge will catch the eye and cause a feeling of incompleteness and hack work. It is in such and such a situation that the alignment of the walls with plaster along the lighthouses comes to the rescue. Having determined the most protruding part of the wall, the zero point, we mark it, from this place and we will begin the installation of beacons. Sometimes, if possible, the protruding part is grinded with a diamond cup or chopped off with a perforator. Such actions allow you to save the consumption of plaster and apply it in a thinner layer. How to check the wall for unevenness and find the zero point can be seen in my other video, the link to which you will find in the description. Even before installing the beacons, you should roughly understand how thick and where the plaster layer will be applied. Thanks to this, you can immediately make an approximate calculation of the required amount of plaster, and evaluate your strength and financial capabilities. Since even a small section of the wall can take a decent amount of plaster mixture, the cost of which can be unpleasantly hitting your budget. Before installing beacons and starting plastering work, it is necessary to carefully prime the wall with reinforcing primer. Do not use a primer such as Aquastop or a film-forming primer for these purposes, since the plaster mixture may not adhere well to such a soil and subsequently lag behind with the film. In this video, I will show the installation of beacons on clips, kremers. This installation method is very convenient, it allows you to perfectly and rigidly position the beacon on the wall. Of course, there is also an old proven method of installing beacons on a solution. But, with the advent of clip kremers, wherever possible I try to use them, since this method seems to me personally much more convenient and more accurate. The spacing between the beacons is calculated according to your rule for plaster. The rule for plastering should be longer than the distance between the beacons and protrude 15 to 20 centimeters beyond the beacons from each edge. Therefore, for example, when working with a plastering rule with a length of 1.5 meters, the convenient distance between the beacons will be just over 1 meter. Also, beacons must be installed at some distance from corners and openings. The first thing I do is determine the vertical's points of attachment of the beacons using the laser level. In these places, with a vertical step of 25 centimeters to 30 centimeters, on the wall, I mark the places for drilling holes for dowels with a diameter of 6 millimeters. Using an electric hammer drill, I drill all the marked holes and insert dowels into them. Next, I screw the screws into the dowels. Now, at the zero point, the place marked as the most protruding, I screw in the first self-tapping screw almost to the very cap. Further, at a distance of the plastering rule from this self-tapping screw to the top or to the bottom, 
I screw in another self-tapping screw and put a rule with a level to the head of this and the first self-tapping screw. Set this self-tapping screw to the level with the previous one with a screwdriver. After that, at the distance of the plastering rule, I screw in one more self-tapping screw and adjusting it with a screwdriver I put it in the same vertical with the previous screws. Further, the remaining self-tapping screws are screwed in between the already installed ones and are adjusted in the same vertical plane. Instead of a rule with a level, you can use a vertical plumb bob with a thread. Having a laser builder, you can significantly speed up the process of installing self-tapping screws in one plane. To do this, it is enough to screw in almost to the end, one self-tapping screw at the zero point. After that, as tightly as possible to the wall, I install the laser builder, turn on the vertical beams 180 degrees. Further, I expose at the same distance from the wall, the left and right vertical rays. After that, inserting a screwdriver or a long bit of an electric screwdriver into the self-tapping screw located at the zero point, I make a note on the screwdriver at the intersection of the laser beam, screwing the electrical tape onto the screwdriver. Now, I screw all the screws into one vertical line, just aligning the edge of the tape on the screwdriver with the laser beam of the level. Having exposed the screws of the first beacon, the following vertical rows of screws are installed. I orient them vertically and horizontally into one common plane. After that, I cut the beacons to length. They should fit freely between the ceiling and floor. On the lighthouses, in the upper and lower parts, I fix one clip crimmer. It is quite simple to do this, the clip crimmer is installed against the wall, with the side with bent corners. I bend both of its edges so that the beacon is squeezed inside the clip crimmer. Next, I fix the beacon, first on the top, and then on the bottom screws. For what, I attach the beacon to the upper self-tapping screw, and slide the clip crimmer onto it from the top, after which I attach the beacon to the lower self-tapping screw. After that, it will no longer be difficult to fix the remaining clip creamers on the beacon and slide them in to engage with the screw head. So, all the beacons are installed. A check is made once again that all the beacons are vertical and in the same plane. To do this, you can also use a laser plane builder, or a plumb line to check the vertical and a horizontally stretched thread along the wall to check the horizontal. After making sure that the beacons are installed correctly, the verticals, plane and angles at 90 degrees with adjacent walls are observed, you can start applying the plaster layer. I won't talk much about how to apply plaster on the wall, I can only say that at first, the plaster is thrown onto the wall in a random sequence. The main task is to fill the required space between the beacons, after which, the mixture is pulled up the wall using rule that rests on the beacons. You should know that if you want to level the plaster with the rule, the plaster mixture should not be very thick, otherwise it will be difficult to pull it. Too liquid plaster is also bad, it will flow. Sometimes, with the help of a rule, it is quite difficult to align the places located at junction boxes, switches or sockets. In such a place, it is easier to fill the space with a thicker solution, having smoothed it out with a wide spatula, after which, when checking with the rule, the excess is removed, or another layer of solution is applied. When leveling the walls along the beacons, I try not to lay the beacons themselves with a solution, because after the main area between the beacons is filled with plaster and hardens, I remove the beacons from the wall. I do this for a number of reasons. Firstly, the beacons very often begin to rust right in the wall, which may turn out to be an unpleasant surprise some time after finishing the walls. Agree that the rusty stripes that show through are not pleasant. Secondly, in the place where the lighthouse is located, a heterogeneous wall is obtained. In such a situation, if you want to fix something on the wall with the help of dowels and a perforator and hitting the beacon with a drill, the plaster peels off the wall, which you will agree is also quite undesirable. Well, no one counts how many holes and in what place are made in the wall later. Therefore, I leave the beacons uncovered with plaster. Then I delete them. And by the way, many Kremer clips remain safe and sound, and they can be used a second time.
Having removed the beacons, I put the emptiness with a plaster mixture. After drying, the plaster can shrink, you should always check the walls using the rule. Rubbing the aluminum rule with a sharp edge to the wall, by the characteristic traces of aluminum, you can see where the rule fits tightly, and where not, all the corners and sections of the walls at the openings of windows and doors are checked and, if necessary, plaster is reported in these places. The task of plastering, the maximum leveling, and if there are irregularities somewhere, it is better not to leave them for putty, but to finish with a plaster mixture. That's all, I wish everyone even walls, subscribe to my channel, good luck and see you soon.